Good evening, my dear brothers and sisters, and welcome to Wednesday evening Vespers and apologies from dear sister Eleanor, who was to lead Vespers. I welcome especially those who've not been able to log in, and I welcome especially our dear brother Richard in France. So we light this light in the name of our Father, Mother, God, who creates life, in the name of Jesus, the cosmic Christ who loves life, in the name of the Spirit who is the fire of life, and in the name of our beloved Earth Mother and our Heavenly Mother, who both nurture the divine in all life, and in the name of all faith traditions, we welcome you to this table of love. And this evening I'm guided by my heart to dedicate Evening Vespers not only for you who have joined us, but for all the children of God who've been disillusioned by former religion and who are wandering, searching for a simpler way of living in God's presence. So we begin our evening prayer with the traditional divine office celebrating the feast of the exaltation of the Holy Cross of Jesus Christ. So now we begin. O oh God, come to my aid, O oh Lord, make haste and help me. Glory be to the Father, Mother God, to the Lord Jesus Christ, our teacher, to the Holy Spirit of God, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end, amen. And our hymn this evening, O cross of Christ, immortal tree, on which our Saviour died, the world is sheltered by your arms that bore the crucified. From bitter death and barren wood, the tree of life is made. Its branches bear unfailing fruit and leaves that never fade. O faithful cross, you stand unmoved while ages run their course, foundation of the universe, creation's binding force. Give glory to the risen Christ, and to his cross give praise, the sign of God's unfathomed love, the hope of all our days. And our first antiphon this evening, after he had been crucified, he rose from the dead and brought us redemption, Alleluia. And now we read Psalm 146. Praise the Lord, for he is good. Sing to our God, for he is loving. To him our praise is due. The Lord builds up Jerusalem and brings back Israel's exiles. He heals the brokenhearted, and he binds up all their wounds. He fixes the number of the stars. He calls each one by its name. Our Lord is great and almighty. His wisdom can never be measured. The Lord raises the lowly. He humbles the wicked to the dust. O oh, sing to the Lord, giving thanks. Sing psalms to our God with the harp. He covers the heavens with clouds. He prepares the rains for the earth, making mountains sprout with grass and the plants to serve man's needs. He provides the beasts with their food and the young ravens that call upon him. His delight is not in horses, nor his pleasure in warrior strength. The Lord delights in those who revere him, in those who wait for his love. And now we pray the Gloria. Glory be to the Father, Mother God, to the Lord Jesus Christ, our teacher, to the Holy Spirit of God, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. After he had been crucified, he rose from the dead and brought us redemption. Alleluia. And the second antiphon, in the center of the holy city of Jerusalem stands the tree of life, 
and the leaves of that tree will bring salvation to all peoples. Alleluia. And our next reading is Psalm 147. Oh, praise the Lord, Jerusalem. Zion, praise our God. He has strengthened the bars of your gates. He has blessed the children within you. He established peace on your borders. He feeds you with the finest wheat. He sends out his word to the earth and swiftly runs his command. He showers down snow white as wool. He scatters hoarfrost like ashes. He hurls down hailstones like crumbs. The waters are frozen at his touch. He sends forth his word and it melts them. At the breath of his mouth, the waters flow. He makes his word known to Jacob, to Israel his laws and decrees. He has not dealt thus with any other nation. He has not taught them his decrees. Let us pray the Gloria. Glory be to the Father, Mother God, to the Lord Jesus Christ, our teacher, to the Holy Spirit of God, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. In the center of the holy city of Jerusalem stands the tree of life, and the leaves of that tree will bring salvation to all peoples. Alleluia. And our next, the third antiphon, it is right for us to glory in the cross, of our Lord Jesus Christ. Our next reading is a canticle reading from St. Paul to the Philippines, chapter 2, verses 6 to 11. Though he was in the form of God, Jesus did not count equality with God a thing to be grasped. He emptied himself, taking on the form of a servant, being born in the likeness of men. And being found in human form, he humbled himself and became obedient, obedient unto death, even death on a cross. Therefore God has highly exalted him and bestowed upon him the name which is above every name, that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow in heaven and on earth and under the earth, and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord and the glory of God, sorry, to the glory of God, our Father, Mother. Let us pray the Gloria. Glory be to the Father, Mother, God, to the Lord Jesus Christ, our teacher, to the Holy Spirit of God, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. It is right for us to go to glory in the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ. Our scripture reading is from St. Paul to 1 Corinthians, chapter 1, verses 23 to 24. We proclaim Christ, yes, Christ nailed to a cross. And though it is a stumbling block to Jews and folly to Greeks, yet those who have heard his call Jews and Greeks alike. He is the power of God and the wisdom of God. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And our short responsory, the sign will appear in heaven when the Lord comes. Excuse me, the sign will appear in heaven when the Lord comes. Lift up your heads, your salvation is at hand. The sign will appear in heaven when the Lord comes. Glory be to the Father, Mother, God, to the Lord Jesus Christ, our teacher, to the Holy Spirit of God. Excuse me, the sign will appear in heaven when the Lord comes. Our magnificent antiphon, it was fitting that Christ should suffer and rise from the dead and so enter into his glory. And now, my dear friends, I invite you to join me for the Magnificat, the Canticle of Mary. My soul magnifies the Lord, 
and my spirit rejoices in God who is my Savior. He looks on his servant in her lowliness, henceforth all ages will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. His mercy is from age to age on those who fear him. He puts forth his arm in strength and scatters the proud hearted. He casts the mighty from their thrones and he exalts the lowly. He fills the starving with good things and sends the rich away empty handed. He protects Israel his servant, remembering his mercy, the mercy promised to our fathers Abraham and his sons forever. Glory be to the Father, Mother God, to the Lord Jesus Christ, our teacher, to the Holy Spirit of God, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. It was fitting that Christ should suffer and rise from the dead, and so enter into his glory. And now, my dear friends, we come to our evening intercessions. Let us pray to our Redeemer, who went to the cross for our sakes. Response, Lord, lead us into your kingdom through the cross. Lord, lead us into your kingdom through the cross. Lord Jesus, you took the form of a slave and became like us. Grant us a share in your humility. Response, Lord, lead us into your kingdom through the cross. Lord Jesus, you humbled yourself, becoming obedient even unto the death of the cross. Let us share your obedience and suffering. Response, Lord, lead us into your kingdom through the cross. Lord Jesus, you were raised on high by God and given a name above every other name. Grant us perseverance and a share in your glory. Response, Lord, lead us into your kingdom through your cross. Let every knee bow at the name of Jesus. Fire the hearts of all men and women with your love. Response, Lord, lead us into your kingdom through the cross. Son of God, grant salvation to those who have called you their Lord. Take our deceased brothers and sisters into your kingdom. Response, Lord, lead us into the kingdom through your cross. And now for a moment in silence, let us be still for we are in the presence of God. <clears throat> and if anything is troubling us, Jesus invites us to name it, to bless it, and to release it to God in a mindset of gratitude and conclude with the most powerful three-worded prayer, thank you God. So let us now be still. This evening, when we began Evening Vespers, we dedicated it for all the children of God down through the centuries to the present day, who've been disillusioned, may be wounded by the traditional religions of the world. And you and I both know, or may know of friends who have been wounded, who dedicated their lives to God, to Yahweh, to Allah, to Jehovah, and end up becoming so severely wounded where they have lost everything, even their own self-respect and the will to live. I know of several Benedictines who took their own life by committing suicide because they never felt good enough. So we pray tonight for all those beautiful men and women who continually, daily, give their lives to God, that the Spirit of God will support and guide them to listen to that one voice, that still voice, the voice of Jesus speaking to their heart, and that they be empowered to rise up a mighty army of children of God in divine service. This evening I want to pray for each one of you 
and I want to pray for our dear brother, Father Richard, and pray for his powerful ministry there in France, and that he continues to remain open to the Spirit of God and be led by that Spirit. And we pray for his family, especially his mom, who's elderly living in the UK. We pray for all the brothers and sisters of our community, past and present. And we pray especially for dear Nancy, who's in formation now as a novice, who lives in Mexico, and for Sister Elaine, who's mentoring her. We pray for Pamela and Lisa, with Brother Richard, who are hoping to come into the postulancy period of discernment on the Feast of St. Francis, October 4th. But we pray for our prayer leaders, dear Sister Sue and Sister Eleanor. We pray for all who've asked our prayer, too many to mention. So we give our prayer intercessions book to the Christ right now. And we say, Lord, we thank you for touching the hearts of the many who have asked our requests to pray for them and to intercede for them in prayer. And I also pray for my brother Seamus in Dublin, and I pray that his test results will be clear and that he won't have carcinoma of the rectum. I pray tonight for our Holy Father, Pope Francis, the Bishop of Rome. I pray for His Holiness the Dalai Lama, for Tich Nahan, and for Queen Elizabeth, our reigning monarch who is head of the Church of England. I pray for all the men and women of different faiths who have surrendered their hearts to the Supreme God. And if they are weary or going through the dark night of the soul, I pray that all our prayers will be heard for them and that they will have a period of interior joy knowing that someone is walking with them in spirit. Let us now be still and just sense the beating heart of Jesus who is inviting us to come and surrender our hearts to the I Am Presence of God. Let us now pray the Lord's Prayer. The Lord's Prayer from the Anglican Daily Prayer Book from New Zealand. Eternal Spirit, Earth maker, pain bearer, life giver, source of all that is and that shall be, loving God in whom is heaven. The hallowing of your name echoes through the universe. The way of your justice be followed by all the peoples of the world. Your heavenly will be done by all created beings. Your commonwealth of peace and freedom sustain our hope and come on earth. With the bread we need for today, feed us. In the hurts we absorb from one another, forgive us. In times of temptation and test, strengthen us. From trials too great to endure, spare us. From the grip of all that is evil, free us. For you reign in the glory of the power that is love. Now, and forevermore. Amen. Amen. And our closing prayer this Wednesday evening, celebrating the feast of the exaltation of Christ's cross, we read, God, our Father, Mother, in obedience to your will, your only begotten Son endured the cross for our salvation. Grant that as we have come to know the mystery of the cross here on earth, we may revive, sorry, we may receive its rewards in heaven. We make our prayer through our Lord Jesus the Christ, who lives and who reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. And that, dear brothers and sisters, brings us to the end of Wednesday evening prayer and I want to thank you for being here but first 
Let us conclude with an ancient Celtic blessing, a beautiful blessing, the blessing of heaven, the blessing of earth, the blessing of sea and sky, on those we love this night, and on every human family, the gift of heaven, the gift of earth, the gift of sea and sky, the gifts of brother sun and sister moon, and the gifts of the animal kingdom, be in your heart, now and forevermore. Amen. And as I come to blow out this simple flame, I thank the Lord Christ for touching the hearts of those whom we have remembered here. Amen. So go in peace to love and to serve our God. Namaste. Shalom. Inshallah, Paxet Bonum, Om Shanti. Solo di Carita, Salam Alaikum, and may the peace of our God reign supreme in your heart this evening. So have a beautiful evening, dear friends, wherever you may be, and I look forward to your company again in the morning. Excuse me, when I will be leading morning prayer. But for now, God bless you. And thank you. Thank you for giving up your time to join us in the celebration of praise to God.